I just filmed the whole intro with no sound and it's okay. It's okay. Because what I was saying was I have been waiting all day to film because there have been a lot of makeup releases and I'm trying to just do this in one fell swoop. So I'm excited. Let's begin. Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you are new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. How are you? I am in a great mood. I am here to talk about all the releases and we can just see what we're thinking about them. So if that sounds good to you, keep watching this video. Let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you want to hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So let me tell you about these clothes. Um, August, apparently, somehow, because he didn't have his phone at camp, uh, decided to let people at the camp know his mom is a YouTuber. And, you know, I usually have on sports bras and stuff like that because I'm doing stuff around the house. Like, I'm not even working out like that. Maybe a little bit. Little walk, little bike, maybe little dancing. But that's how I feel comfortable. And I, I like filming in that. And someone said it was inappropriate. And he requested that I wear a hoodie. So this is one of my favorite uh, jean jacket hoodies. And I have on my little mindfulness jewelry, which I do talk about in a video that's coming up this week. But this is my mindfulness necklace that you can breathe through because I, I think I'm holding my breath a lot. And then this is my essential oils locket. Mm, got some lavender in there. So that's, that's what I've got going on. Now let's talk about this look. It's very minimal and very excited about it. I am wearing my Dior concealer, which is my favorite concealer. This is almost done. I do have a backup that is ready to go because I don't really have a need to try any more concealers. Like this is it uh, forever skin correct forever, at least for now. Blush, cause I don't have on any foundation. I don't even have on primer. I don't even have on setting powder because I'm not going anywhere. This right here, this is the Dior Rosy Glow Blush and Mahogany. For me, this is a blush and bronzer in one fell swoop. Like, look at that. It's gonna last forever because you just need one, one fell swoop. You know what I mean? It's great. Now let's talk about the lips real quick and then we'll talk about the little highlight. Lisa. Lisa Eldridge Velvet Carnival. I cannot tell you the last time I've worn this, but I just felt like wearing something bright and fun. You know what I mean? I just, that's how I felt. So. I think I can also use this uh, pencil with New Wave. I'll have to try it out. I was going, I wanted to wear New Wave and then I grabbed the pencil first and I'm like, oh, but I have Carnival. And look, highlighter. This Quartz Glow by Say Beauty, this Glow Skull. Say, say, say what you want, but don't play games with my affection. Showed my age there, but don't worry about it. Look it up, say, 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 Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Now let's talk about the smells, because I have on a smell good that I am trying out. I think it's a winner, I really do. Now this is gonna be something that, mm, I, I probably would not have to reapply this. This is Delina exclusives by Parfums de Marly. And I wanted to try this because I knew I had the sample, but I was watching a video by Sheree and her channel is Sheree's Lifestyle. Oh my gosh, I love her. I feel like she is a bestie in my head, y'all. But she was talking about all the Delinas. And I think I have samples of all three, but you know, I just have these samples. I got this one from Onyx Fragrances. I, they might be having a sale, it's Spray Onyx. And I, oh my gosh, they sent me some samples that I actually need to do it. No, I, they didn't ask me. I want to do a video on, so that'll be coming up. I like this. I have no idea uh, what the original Delina smells like compared to this one, but this one smells really, really good. I, I feel like it's floral, but not too floral for me, but it's sweet. Oh, I don't even know the notes. We'll, we'll talk about it in another video and I'll definitely have it in a roundup for June because I'm gonna keep wearing this. Oh, that's my look today with my hoodie, courtesy of August. So let's go ahead. Oh, I also have 
uh, some wine here. I have a mix. Like I have a, cause Tyrone got me a, it was like a bold red blend. It was really strong. So I mixed it with jammy red brew from Yellowtail and it got some little apples cut up and a little bit of Bacardi pineapple. So this is sangria for me. And I already filmed mimosas and makeup and I won't have a mimosa there. So I got this now. Let's get started. I feel like there's a lot this week and I'm excited to talk about it. So let's, let's see what's happening. I'm gonna move over. I'm over. It's been raining all day in Baltimore and it finally stopped. So everyone has eaten and they're outside playing. Margie's in his office and that's totally fine. All right, you guys, let's see what we have to talk about. I feel like there's a pretty good amount of items here. And I'm just looking to see where we left off last week. Let us start off by talking about Notoriously Morbid because Notoriously Morbid has or is celebrating their 10th anniversary. And they started to sneak peek these quads. And I think we can go ahead and see them all together. So let me just scroll up and we can hit them all at once. There's like some quads and then there's a palette. All right, I don't know if there's a post with everything, but I think there are four. So let's start with this one. So we have Misery Business. And these range between $27.99 and $29.99. We have this one here, which is Love Like Winter. And then we have I'm Not Okay. It's pretty. And last but not least, we have, this is the What's My Age Again quad. And that's what we've got. There's four quads. And then we also have a palette. The palette is going to be the Season of the Witch Summer palette. And this is it here. I'm not sure what the price is for that, but there are the swatches. I don't have the original Season of the Witch palette. And um, they're not sending me any of these, which is fine. I don't feel like I would use these, but I think they're beautiful. And you know, I really, really like Notoriously Morbid and I love the creativity when they come up with color stories and themes and like shade names and names of their palettes. I love all of that, but I have come to terms with the fact that I can love it and still not purchase uh, because I'm having a problem, you know, with purchasing. So I, I'm just, I'm trying to get myself together. I think this is beautiful. Like if you don't have anything like this, it is going to be gorgeous. And you are going to love it. I just know that these are not palettes that I need to add to my collection. I'm actually waiting, not still waiting because it was a pre-order. I'm actually waiting for my path to the light side or path of the light side palette. I know uh, makeup on my radar did get hers. So the mail came already today. I'm hoping that actually they're in West Virginia. I don't know why I don't have it, but it's okay. Whenever it comes, it's going to be right on time. And I cannot wait to play with that palette. I'm looking forward to it. So I am going to pass on this collection. They're also going to be releasing some mystic mats. And I really love how they have unique uh, colors for their lipsticks. I say that about uh, Unearthly as well. Like if you're looking for different colors, th things that you don't have, you will definitely find it in Notoriously Morbid's lip products as well as Unearthly, but these are really interesting. Um, again, they're gonna be a pass for me. And then it looks like they have some loose pigments as well. And let's see what these are. Um, they have some shifting cream shadows as well. So yeah, and some highlighters. So there's a lot uh, coming out with this 10th anniversary release. And I'm really happy for the brand because I think they're awesome. Okay, this Delina exclusive is really nice. Just wanna say that. Some of the things you're gonna see me scroll past, but I'll still come back and talk about because they've been released. Let's talk about Too Faced. This is the Cosmic Crush Eyeshadow Palette. High pigment, futuristic shades. Of $52. I believe I saw a review for this palette pop up. This is going to be a no for me. I don't 
think there's anything wrong with this palette. And I do think it is different for Too Faced. And I'm happy for them. I know they came out with the other palette. Um, I can't remember. Italian Spritz or something like that. And I know some people really did like that palette. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just not really checking for Too Faced like that. And I'm really trying to get my palette situation in check. There's only one palette I got my eyes on and uh, we will get to that. So I'm going to pass on that, but let me know what you think about it. Mom, can I put my bottom Hi. Bottom? Yes, you can. Okay. okay. Told August he has to put his bike on the porch so it doesn't get rusty, you know. What is this? Too Faced also has lip injection, maximum plump lip gloss, and cosmic crush. Uh, I've never tried their lip injections. Let me know what you think. I don't need anything with sparkling glitter. So that's going to be a pass for me. They also have Moon Crush Highlighter. I don't need any highlighter. I think I have found my love, my highlighting love with the highlighting bombs that I have. And these um, Save Beauty ones, I just really love. And the iconic London. Oh, yes, I, I can't. I need, I need nothing. All right, let's see. Tarte. Man Eater Silk Stick Blush, a Summer Flush in a Stick. Uh, these are going to be a pass. I don't need a product like this, but I'm sure they're very nice. I just don't need to try the same product from multiple brands. I, I just don't need to do that. And I, I don't really have a need to do that. And I don't have a need to review anything like this. But let me know what you think if you've tried it or you're interested. They do look very nice. Laura, okay, she's got caviar stick matte eyeshadows. Are these new? Uh, are these new? I don't know if these are new. They're available at Ulta Beauty, but I'm not sure if they're new. I know she's had these eyeshadow sticks and I'm always intrigued by them, but I never use them. So they are going to be a pass, but they look really nice. They do. I just wish I went for them. And if I do, I need to go for the ones that I have in my collection, to be honest. What's this? ColourPop. Let's see if we're going to do a weekly ColourPop segment. I feel like we are. So I'm going to try to do all of ColourPop right now. We have an ultra blotted lip. Okay. Not sure if this is a new product uh, for them, but that's very nice. These are going to be $9 each and they're at Ulta. They have an ultra glossy lip as well. Okay. And there's a third one. Yep, it is. It is the ultra. How did I guess? Ultra matte lip. Okay. So we've got three lip formulas from ColourPop and then there's something else that I saw. So let's just go ahead and, and get up to it. They had some little cute uh, characters. Let me see. And there's a possibility that I might not get all of the ColourPop together, but I'm going to try. Bon Voyage. So this is actually a restock. The BT21. I don't know what BT21 is because I don't know. Because what's the K pop band? BTS? Because one of some of my students like them, but I don't think this is it. So I don't know. I'm old. <laughs> but this is a restock um, BT21 with ColourPop Bon Voyage palette. So this restocks on June 23rd. So this has already happened. Let me know if this is something that you are interested in or that you have or purchase. I just have no knowledge of this. And um, it's not really a color story that I'm into. So that's going to be a pass. All right, let's go back to where we were. Oh, wait a minute. Is this ColourPop? This looks like ColourPop. Oh, but it's not. All right, let me go back. We do have from Unique Beauty. Now, this is a different little setup for them. This is a new collection. There's the Drama Queen palette and the, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Drama Queen Glow Up is giving main character, Everyday Diva and Girl Boys. Feel free to give this collection a name. Okay, that's fine. See if we can see them all. Okay. These look nice. They actually look really nice. Everyday Diva Glow Up is giving main character Drama Queen and Girl Boss. Okay, very pretty. Skeptical of the swatches. Yeah, I'm always skeptical of swatches though, so that's just me. But these are really pretty. Um, let me know. I don't know if this eyeshadow formula is the same as the formula from the Africa collection. 
that collection did not arrive well for me some of the shades were broken and again it's coming from overseas but some of them were really messy for me to put on and some of them i felt like were not flattering to my eyelids these look a bit different uh to me like different in a good way i just don't know i think they're all really really beautiful but i am going to admire this from afar, there is a code radar 10, which is affiliated where you can save 10%. Dose of colors has a glass petal top coat lip oil. Um, I'm not interested in this $22 each. Uh, this is available now. They both look the same to me on the lips, but I'm going to pass. Still haven't tried dose of colors. We have this brand, I guess it's chance. So maybe, and they have a peach paradise fragrance. Let's see if we can see some notes. Luscious peach, succulent apricots, delicate gardenia, and alluring sandalwood. That sounds great. It's $89.95 and you can use the code MYRADAR. I'm not sure how much that saves. I'm going to stick with the bitter peach right now just because I did buy a travel size of it a couple months ago. But that sounds really, really nice. I want to say I talked about this last week. See you later. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel. See you later. Um, this is an, I feel like I talked about it. So I'm moving on. Now let's talk about this. Cosmic brushes has the delicious delights palette, 20 beautiful, delicious, sweet, inspired shades. When I look at this, this makes me think about the glam light ice cream dream palette, which I no longer have because I am not going to use these shades i love how it looks like the appeal and just it, it gives some really nice summer vibes i see that some of these shades look like they're either duo or multi chromes four of the shimmers are shifters one is iridescent duo chrome one is a high shine okay whatever um i'm not gonna get this now i will direct you to my friend jammy over at i'm jamila be in touch with her because she did order this palette and um i will link her channel because she's gonna do something fabulous with it and i think that on her skin tone it's gonna look amazing it is these just aren't my colors, but I think that this is going to be amazing for a lot of people. All right. Oh, we have some swatches too. Do we have some swatches? Ooh, look at the, mm-hmm. Yup. This is going to be nice. I, I will say that, but I am going to admire from afar. We've got a fall collection happening here from a couple brands. This is Givenchy. So we got a, a Prisme Libre blush in Violet Tool. We've got some lip products here. Uh, this is going to be a pass. Haven't tried Givenchy yet. I mentioned this Gourmande Girls Cosmetics palette, the Warrior palette, I want to say last week. And we have some swatches here. I don't think I showed these. It's very pretty. But again, I'm admiring this from afar. It is beautiful. I'm skipping Dior because I can't. don't know what that is. Who says no? not doing it this is interesting give me glow has a juicy blueberry palette it has been some time since i've seen anything come out from give me glow the last thing that i remember is the was it a haunted pumpkin palette so i'm happy to see this brand uh coming back on the scene uh i am not going to partake in the juicy blueberry palette but I think it's cute. I think it's interesting. They've got a new layout here because they did those big like circle pans before and the pumpkin palette had the squares. So this is all kind of new, but let me know what you think about this palette. I think if you like purples, you're going to really enjoy this, but uh, this is going to be a pass. See, we have, Oh, we've got some info $45. It has two multi-chrome pigments and the launch date is June 30th at 10 a.m. CST. Let me know your thoughts on that. Glad to see Gimme Glow back in the mix, but uh, I'm going to admire from afar. Rem Beauty has a thank you next. What is this? Plumping lip glosses. Okay, uh, these are gonna be a pass. Uh, I don't really like shimmering lip glosses, so I'm not really into this. Uh, this is already available. Let me know if you got that. Some swatches here of the Cosmic Brushes Delicious Delights palette. 
So that's very nice. It is. It really is. It's still. What is that? Oh, what is that? Okay. I think they have something else coming out with this. So we'll get to that. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry if I'm skipping anything that y'all are interested in. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep it cute. So we have from Spectrum Cosmetics, a Van Gogh Museum Collection collab situation that's already launched. Okay, Van Gogh. All right, that's nice. Um, I'm not getting this, but let me know. I think, I think that's cute. Like, I like the collabs they come out with. You know, sometimes with the Disney ones, it's a lot. But that one's kind of unique, right? All right, Tower 28 has a SOS Daily Skin Barrier Redness Recovery Moisturizer. So this is for sensitive skin with hyaluronic acid and ceramides. And then you pair it with the SOS spray, which is sold separately. All right, so this is just a hydrating moisturizer. Okay, this is a no. All that to say it's a moisturizer. All right, what, what is this? Skincare set? Um, uh, we got a skincare set from pharmacy, honey, halo, and then a green clean. All right. No, I know what I want to talk about. <laughs> now y'all know I love me some Dior, especially the lip products uh, and my concealer. <laughs> this is, so I just... There are so many Dior quints that dupe each other. I just need them to stop. Like, don't give me an embossing and tell me it's something different. Don't urinate on my leg and tell me that it's raining. Like, come on. Like, these are like $63, I want to say. Oh, look at my comment. Stop it, Dior. Yes, please, stop. The blush looks like a nice color, but I just feel like they already have that color and they probably already have polishes that are similar like that one on the top left is really looking really f actually both of them they look really familiar uh, let me know what you think am i being harsh i think not those are going to be no's now i see these products here from la girl cosmetics are these yeah stick blushes I'm, i just have to stop stick blushes stick bronzers like i have my stuff I Oh, look at this Zoeva here comes the Sun and with it comes our new Zoeva Santorini matte bronzing powder um I mean that's nice but I feel like after the Pat McGrath launch like I've I've got enough bronzers so this kind of came a little late for me but let me know I was really into Zoeva like at first like I had some of those eyeshadow palettes a couple of them but yeah um this is gonna be a pass as well <sighs> okay i have to mention this I, i've never heard of this brand mez beauty so swarthy that word always stands out to me because that was one of our vocabulary words in ninth grade we had these vocabulary words every week and i had a teacher named miss webb she was one of my first black teachers and she was the best and swarthy was one of the words and it meant like dark skin or like a dark complexion so i mean i guess i guess, <laughs> I guess for this palette i guess you know what i mean i mean maybe they mean it's gonna show up on deep skin tones or something i don't know but swarthy really uh stood out to me so i definitely had to uh share that all in all it's no i mean it's 26 dollars, which is great i don't know anything about this uh brand but yeah swarthy yeah i mean i think they have women of color uh in mind for this palette so love that or people of color not just women Ooh. I'm, I'm, I gotta, cause I'm not holy all, all day. Nope. Uh, what is this? Profusion Dreamscape. Uh, no. $12, which is great. Uh, let me know. I've heard good things about Profusion though. I have. Oh, wait, is it different palettes? Oh, it's, hold on. There's the Dreamscape and the Adventurous palette. So we have Dreamscape here. So I was not, and then Adventurous. Okay. Uh, is it an Adventurous? No. 
but that's great. Profusion also has some prismatic chrome liquid eyeshadows. Passing on these because I never wear them. But I think if you were interested in trying a liquid eyeshadow for $10 each, I think this would be a good purchase if it's something you're into or interested in. Is this a teaser? Okay, I can't do teasers. I already got it. So, because I have talked about this, I have talked about Minnie Mouse. And when I tell you I used the little sample I had until there was nothing, there was nothing left. I was not letting this pass me by. I was not. I had Mickey and I sold it. I got many. Yup. It's like raspberry, marshmallow, caramel. With, it's, it's good. It is so good. Yeah. Me and makeup on my radar. We made sure we got that. We sure did. Yes, we did. Let's see what else we haven't talked about. We have a big palette here from Cara Beauty Official that I'll be skipping on. I mean, this is just so redundant. I just can't. Serendipity, which is nice. Uh, no, I don't know how much it is. 42 shades. What are we doing? I'm not doing it. So I'm going to move on. Oh, do we talk about these sticks? I'm so tired of these sticks. Now I'm getting confused about the brands that are coming out with them because I feel like this is the third brand. Now, these sticks are by NBA Cosmetics eyeshadow slash highlighter sticks. We had some from Pro Glitz, I feel like, and Sugar Drizzle. Let me just look and see if we see anything. I don't know. I'm confused about them, but you know what I'm not confused about? I'm not confused about the fact that I'm not getting them. So I'm going to move on. I think we talked about these color correctors from Huda Beauty. I'm not getting that. Talked about Westman Atelier last week with these super loaded illuminators. I'm not getting those. Extra expensive for no reason. I also think we talked about these RMS drops and I said I would be interested after I'm done with Kosas. All right. Not the Sparkle and Shine Glitter Spray. No, not doing that. I'm not doing a lot of this stuff, y'all. I'm so sorry. Colourpop with these sticks. No, no sticks. I'm done with sticks. Let's talk about Kali. So Kali is going to be coming out with a Wedding Silk Santal 36. I am curious about this. I'm probably going to get this. Top notes of sparkling champagne, white freesia, and black currant. Middle notes of lush nectarine, pink praline. What's pink praline? I don't know. Jasmine rose damascina. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know I said that wrong. For dry notes, we have sugar musk, sandalwood, oak moss, amber woods, and vanilla absolute. I'm definitely curious. And I think this is like a double fragrance here. So then we have a velvet santal 35. I'm not sure. That's cute. Now look at that. That is so cute. I'm not sure we have the notes for that one yet, but I'll check. I'm going to try a travel size in the, uh, the wedding one. So that's $27. I'm going to try that. Yes. I'm still not seeing anything about the velvet one. Now the Pastel Roses UK is an indie brand. I have tried them. I was not a huge fan, but I think since I've tried that brand, they have, uh, you know, updated their formula, but I'm going to pass on these. There's a summer collection here. So this is going to release on the 24th. It looks like, or maybe it's going to be uh, talked about or revealed. Well, it is revealed. I don't know. I, I like this palette, but I'm not going to be getting this or these loose pigments. So that's going to be a pass. Now essence cosmetics has a, a few things coming out. We have, it's a good day to have a good day and that's fine. But all of this is a no. You got mascara, banana powder, eye and face palette, lip gloss, liner blush color changing lipstick i mean there's a lot there's a lot going on here but it's a lot of nose uh let me know the only thing i've tried by essence is their mascara which i did like we also have some matte lipstick as well but again i just don't need any of this oh but there's more but there's more luminous eye tint liquid shadows We've got eyeliners and what is this brow mascara? Okay. So they have come out with a bunch. Oh, and another palette here. Welcome to Cape town. And wait a minute, sin city. 
I don't know about that. Okay. This is a lot. This is a, this is a lot for like one drop. And it's a no. Oh, now we've got the Barbie train because of the movie. Uh, NYX Barbie party. Say hello to our limited edition collection. Um, all of this is a no. All of it. No. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry. Now with the uh, cosmic brushes, I should have scrolled up to this earlier. We've got... A bonus release which is a highlighting trio with three iridescent shades that's nice um, I don't need these I am all uh, highlighted out let's talk about lethal lethal cosmetics has a brand new collection that consists of exceptionally shiny six pure metals six multi chromes and an empty constellation 12 palette so you're gonna just put all of these in your empty palette and be good to go uh, my initial gut reaction is I'm going to pass on these just because I have so many indie singles. I do like Lethal a lot, a lot. But right now for this initial launch, like these are all really gorgeous. I, I have to pass on these. They are very beautiful though. So these multi-chromes or the holographic silver 1150. And then they're going to be on sale at the launch for 15% off. The new multi chromes are $16.50 and the palette itself is $13 and then it's going to have the discount. So that's great. That's really nice that they're doing that discount at the launch and that they're announcing it. Because Mel didn't do that. You need to clean. I love Mel, but they didn't do that. <sighs> okay, Isamaya has an industrial 2.0. Um, I had the original industrial palette and I just... Even though, because I did like lid swatches and everything, um, it was interesting. I feel like that palette was very fussy, very fussy. And I don't know if I had a dud palette or what, but it was just very hard panty. So I am just, I'm, I'm curious of what it's going to be. But even since that palette released, I haven't been interested in anything else that the brand has launched. So I'm just most likely gonna admire from afar. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. KVD, what's this? We got more lip stuff. Online exclusive Reckless Pink Lip Trio. Oh, these are pretty. I mean, it's a pretty pass. And Givenchy has some Rose Perfecto Lip Balms. Okay, that's nice. I still wanna try these, but I'm not in a like rush to do that. Now let's talk about this. This is what I've been waiting for to talk about because uh, Blend's Bunnies Cos because Blend Bunnies Cosmetics has been sneak peeking this uh, sugar and grunge palette, and we did get a reveal today. I, I do think I'm going to get this one. This one because I had Dollhouse. I have the original Blends, which I love that one. I don't use it all the time, but whenever I need mattes of a certain shade, that is a go-to palette for me. That's why I don't need any rainbow palettes because I have that one and I have a bunch of singles. So I don't need anything like that. I did have dollhouse and I sold it. Dollhouse was nice. It was nice, but I just wasn't really using it. I don't, I don't know what it was about dollhouse because it was a really, really nice palette. This one though, uh, it's kind of interesting to me and I am, I'm really curious about what I would do with this. I love the idea of sugar and grunge and kind of the 90s theme that goes with it because I'm like a 90s girl. So I'm looking at some of these names like Teen Spirit and Don't Speak. I, I love seeing that. Payphone, baggy jeans, complicated. I think this palette is going to be really, really nice. I'm very curious about it. Most likely I'm going to get this one. Let me know what you think about this. It's funny because I keep wondering, they did have a couple palettes that were, that looked a little similar to me. Like, um, what's the one that Dr. Ash likes? There's one that Dr. Ash likes that she always talks to me about Surge. Oh my gosh. She talks to me about the Surge palette all the time, but Surge and Primal to me were just like too close, all done up. That one looks like it's right up my alley, but I did not get that one. So I don't know, maybe on a sale I'll get it, but I, I think I'm going to give this one a try. Let me know what you're thinking about the sugar and grunge palette. I love the idea of it. I really do. 
So let me know. This one, let's see. The release is gonna be on June 30th at 12 p.m. CST and it's gonna be $41. And I there might be some codes. So I'm I'm interested. That's I do think I'm gonna get that. We have a sneak peek from Martine Cosmetics. Um, I can already tell that this is not gonna be a palette I'm gonna get but uh, let me know your thoughts. I don't think that one released yet. We have some shades from Tracy's Powder Room and these have already launched. So these look nice. I've not tried this brand. This is the Summer Days Bundle and I'm not sure what the price is, but let me know if you've tried Tracy's Powder Room. We're almost done. Dominique Cosmetics has a brow frame pencil. Okay, um, this is not something I'm interested in. I've continued to use my Maybelline express brow pencil let's end with la bouche rouge paris these are oh this is a leather case Ma, go, go, can you take a shower? sure you can take a shower do you say hi why are you ready to get dessert aren't you okay mm. oh my door <sighs> whatever all right that's what we have for makeup on my radar let's check out our crew we didn't even have a lot of you need to leaves. I just had some passes this week and that's that's fine. I'm fine with that. Uh, we didn't talk about Sofia Vergara who is coming out with a beauty line. And it looks like the focus is to protect from sun damage and, and also restore. So there's a CC cream that uh, has SPF 50. And then there's, what is it? CC Creamy Compact. Okay, so it's sunscreen. All right, well, she's got a few things. She's got a mineral sunscreen as well and an antioxidant booster. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you think about her coming out with her own brand. She always looks nice. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see. We've got some highlighting blushes from Bare Minerals. Okay. I already have my Say blushes, so... I'm good on these. Oh, you know what we didn't talk about? And I know it's on Makeup on My Radar's page. This Rick and Morty collection. So Glamlight is coming out with a Rick and Morty collection. It's got a 30 shade palette, a lip kit, uh, two lip kits it looks like, a highlighter trio and setting spray. Let me know what you think about this. I know Tyrone was like, oh, that's fire. Cause like he likes Rick and Morty, but I don't know anything about Rick and Morty. So uh, this is a pass for me though. I just haven't been into the collab stuff, but let me know what you think. This is releasing today at 8 a.m. PST. So it might've released by the time this video comes up. Um, this has given me the that big Scooby-Doo palette vibe. So let, let me know, let me know. I, I know that make, hold on now. Cause I know makeup on my radar had that on her page. I know she does. I think I just skipped it. Yeah, I just skipped it. My bad, I knew she had it. But either way it's no, so skipping it or not. All right, we're gonna go to point click vibes and then chic profile. Let's just see. I don't think we have anything. Let me just see if we have the velvet. Here's the velvet Santal. Jasmine petals, tea leaves, white musk, cedarwood, benzoin, and sandalwood. Mm. I don't think I'll really care for that. I don't know. Yeah, I think I want to get the wedding. I'm well. They're both the wedding. Silk Santal. I think that's the one I want. All right. Let's see what else we got. Let's go to Chic Profile Official. We don't have anything. This is great. All right. I'm gonna move over and tell you what I'm thinking and fix my door. All right, you guys, so what I'm thinking about this week is the Kaylee fragrance and the Blend Bunnies palette. That is it, and I did get Minnie Mouse. So those are the three things. I'm really trying to get back on my makeup protection because I've been really off of it. Now, the Minnie Mouse fragrance from House of Siage, I have not seen anything that can dupe it. I have looked. I have researched and I've gotten a bunch of samples since then and there's nothing that comes close. So that one I really wanted to get and I'm so glad it came back in stock. I also feel like that about cream chiffon, which I'm almost finished and I'm just using it sparingly because it's sold out. It's gone. I don't know if they're bringing that one back and I really, really love it. So, you know, when you have things like that, those are the things where I'm like, okay, it's going to be worth it for me to go ahead and get this because there's nothing else like it. You know, the blends palette I want to try out. 
I thought their shimmers were nice in the dollhouse palette. I think they may have changed the shimmer since then. I'm not sure. I really do want to try out this sugar and grunge palette. I love, I love the combo like that. So I'm, um, I'm excited about that. The silk Santal sounds really nice. So I think I do want to try a travel size. I'm not sure if the second one in the black bottle is supposed to be a male fragrance. So let me know. I think it is. That's all that's on my radar. That, that's what we're gonna go ahead and go with because I gotta pull it in here and pull in the reins. So I want you to let me know what has stood out to you uh, this week for new makeup releases, if anything. Let me know how you're doing in general. I am in the process of trying to catch up on comments because I know towards the end of the school year, I definitely fell off. If you see me respond to something from a month ago, I know it's super late, but I really like to take my time and make sure that I respond to all the comments. And now that I have a little more time this summer, I just want to make sure I respond because I really appreciate you all taking time to write comments. Like y'all are writing like real comments and I want to write a real response. So that's really important to me. Okay, I'm gonna stop saying really. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another edition of the Makeup Protection Program. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Oh,